Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and this is a part 2 for Tho. In this video we will be learning how to make a torso as well as the hands. This is not going to be his torso, this is going to be his entire body except legs. Alright, so let's get started. For the neck, what I did here, I did just add one sphere, give it a basic shape, then I'm going to add one more sphere which is going to be his uh, entire body except the hands and legs. The hands going to be into a separate sphere and the legs going to be in a separate like maybe a cylinder, maybe a sphere, we'll see. Just trying to give a basic shape of the body. Since that's not so visible for the uh, concept. So you have to like, um, either you can have more reference for the concept art or you can have a reference for the male anatomy or female anatomy, whatever you guys are working with. And if you are okay to work by your own style, that's good. I encourage you guys to have your own style. Try to figure it out like what, what makes you like uh, different than others or what your technique to work with. I always add a little bit details for the chest area, abdominal area, lats, back area, I mean, then once you have those landmarks, then at that, with, with that uh, information, you can work for the entire body. As you can see, it's his body is quite like tall right now. I don't mind because I'm just giving a basic shape of it. Once I'm having a basic landmarks where to work with, and then I can squish it, stretch it, whatever you want it, you can do it. It's the same technique which we use for our stylized characters but a little bit different than that stylized character since we are using one sphere for the entire body. Why? Right? Then if you wanted to use the previous technique you can use but since it's not that heavy character to work with so I don't want to have like multiple like uh, spheres like multiple sub tools and I want you guys to learn like a different technique as well as the stylus character and i want to show you guys how you guys can make uh, hands the muscle muscle like muscular hands uh, in a really good way which i use that's my technique that's my preference like how i wanted to work with And this is just a little bit details here and there. Um, this is not going to be finalized yet. It's going to be a basic shape or basic information where you're gonna work later on. So nothing special. If someone is new in my channel, guys, if you want to know how am I doing, what am I doing with the brushes, what is like, my like way of doing it just go and watch my other videos like previous one i have explained each and every tool how i use it and why i use it in this video i'm just showing you how to make the character itself i'm not gonna be focusing on explaining the brushes since we have learned that in previous maybe 
10, 11, 15 videos I have shown that. And whoever is interested in my UI, just let me know. I'll drop in their email or whatever you guys are comfortable with. I'll give you that. Just let, do let me know. Now, this is going to be his hand, all right? Not the shoulder, the biceps, forearms. No, it is going to be entire one thing. And let me show you how I work with it. So if you guys are confused, like why am I doing that or what's going on? Let me show you the reference. Here you see the reference. This reference is really nice. You can work with the entire hand, biceps, shoulder, traps, whatever you guys are working with. You can see in this reference, this is really nice reference. I suggest you guys to have more reference, whatever you guys are working with, just Squeeze the, uh, like stretch the sphere and have a little bit details, not too much. Just add a little bit details here and there. And once you have that, you can go through like step by step by step. You will have entire hand ready. And some of you guys might be thinking like, oh, this is uh, like a pain to work with. You can't move it easily. You won't be able to like post like give a pose or something it's quite easy you can do it easily i'll show you and guys i'm not using the subdivisions like i haven't had any subdivisions in my entire character till now we'll be adding subdivisions when we need to and mostly it will be needed when you need to add texture like a body type like whatever you need okay this is is going to be like a, you need to add poly groups for the upper uh, upper biceps and the lower forearm just add one poly group like separate them with that you can easily control the hand itself you want to pose it you can do it if you want to uh, give a any stretch or squeeze for the biceps anything this is the easiest way so you can do it If you don't have a place to work where you want to give that crease, the pinch area, just hide the other poly group and work on that. Then with the pinch brush or smooth it out first, then give a pinch brush. All right. This is really pain afterwards if you don't did it right in, in this position, like in this stage. If you do this, hide the back faces and smooth it out from the inside. Once you do this, in future, you won't be having a problem. I have experienced that too many times. And believe me, that's really big to work with. then I'm gonna add one more sphere and this is not going to be like a, a real stick fist or something I just wanted to have the shape of the fist so I use one sphere and I just sculpt it in if you guys are interested like you want to make a, a like complete hand with that you can move it like fingers and all go ahead do that I am not gonna do that in this video for this character I'll be more focusing on the sculpting so this is what I did.
the figures are like confused at how should I do it. First of all, you have your reference for the fist always with you. If you have two hands, you have a reference you can work with. If you have one hand, still you have a reference to work with. Just add a little bit of details here and there, then you're good to go. Because if, anyhow, he is going to have one hand going to be closed for the test and the other hand have an axe. So you won't be able to show that much details. As you can see, we are almost done with the hands. So what I do here, I just uh, mirror that and give a shape of the another hand. As you can see, one hand is quite cushioned and the another one doesn't have that much, so it's kind of relaxed. Now, since we have already the polygroup for the hand, just select that and smooth it out with the masking area, then move it. You can see that, right? It's quite easy to work with now. If you have a, a multiple sub, uh, sub tools, it is easy to work with, but you won't be able to uh, do with the real estate. Uh, so this kind of characters doesn't work that way. There are techniques which you need to use, and there are some techniques you need to avoid when you're using certain characters or certain style of it. That's it for this video. So next video we'll be working on legs and let's see. If you guys like this video, do like it, comment what you want next and do subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet and share it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you next video.